Good afternoon everyone. Today, today's video will be sharing about how to create a Python dependency or a Pandas layer for AWS Lambda uh, utilizing AWS Cloud9. So the problem statement is that quite often what we notice is if, even if we wanted to use our AWS Lambda, there's quite limited functionality if there are no external dependencies installed in the AWS Lambda. So in this case, today's example, what we'll be showing is that AWS Lambda doesn't have support direct support for Pandas or NumPy library. So some of there will be some potential solutions that we can take note of. One is to directly zip the library together with your Lambda function or you can even consider creating a pandas layer okay today what we need is we need an aws account as usual an aws cloud9 uh, instant uh, service that we will be using later uh, aws lambda and maybe some idea of choice if you were to have multiple requirements that you wanted to install in terms of dependencies okay why cloud9 it's a cloud-based ide it has already been pre-packaged with essential tools for programming languages such as Python, Ruby, and Node.js or things like that. Uh, there is also pre-installed there is also pre-installed sudo privileges to manage the EC2 instance, and most importantly, there are pre-installed authenticated AWS command line interface. You can also prep your. Uh, so what we'll be doing is that we can prep our AWS Lambda layer on the go because it's actually a web-based IDE. Okay, so today, so today for our proposed workflow, we'll be creating a Lambda function, creating a Cloud9 instance, moving on to install the correct Python version that of reference, assuming that the Cloud9 doesn't support the version of Python that you wanted to use, create and install dependencies on Cloud9, zip all the dependencies together into one file, deploy the zip files as a Lambda layer, add the Lambda layer to fun Lambda function, and then finally we can run our Lambda function. Uh, let's create a Lambda function. All you just need to go to the uh, go into AWS Lambda, press a create function, uh, create a function of choice, uh, the Lambda function name of what you want. Choose the exact runtime of what you wanted to run. So you notice that there will be there will be a variety of options that you can select from. So today's example will be using Python 3.9. Remember to always set an existing role, uh, that one you have predefined to ensure that uh, the services are not being, uh, you, you don't access, uh, you don't fully expose all your other roles to access different services. Create a function. So now we are in the Python based uh, Lambda function. You notice that, that as what we mentioned in our previous video, there are triggers and destinations of after this function has been run, where do you want to proceed with? Also, uh, like what today we'll be mentioning today, we'll be mentioning about layers. So as you can see here now, currently there's no layers attached to this. Uh, in one of my personal examples, I have actually created some layers. In this case, it's called pandas. So later you'll notice that there will be another layer called pandas uh, testing. I'll be calling that pandas layer pandas testing. Okay. So uh, as usual, a typical Lambda function, what we can do to test this function out is we create a new CSV file called title 1 as a header, title 2 as a header, value 1 and value 2 as the values. Save this as test CSV. Go back to your Lambda function Python script. Import your pandas. Let's try to uh, see whether we can read this file using a uh, standard pandas library. Okay. Normally what we can see here is when we write this line, you will see that the, uh, you will be able to be uh you'll be able to print out the data frame. So let's just deploy and try it out, see whether it works. Okay, uh similarly the test event is not important right now because we are not using anything from the events. Just press test. Okay, you notice that uh as expected, we have received an error message saying that there's no module called pandas. So this further proves that Lambda itself uh does not have pandas supported out of the box. So we definitely need to configure and ensure that pandas is working. Okay, just to show you a quick example how this thing can work. Okay, because I previously predefined a custom layer that I've created, which is what we'll be going through later. If you were to select a particular pandas, you can even select the multiple versions of what you wanted to run. So in this case, uh, if you have created the same naming convention in terms of the layer, you can have multiple versions to update the current pandas layer of what you need. So if let's say I were to add this, so uh, what it's doing is like trying to uh, combine uh, this layer into the script that you are running. So right now, right, uh, 
if we were to press the test button we should be able to see that there will be some data frames being printed out okay because i didn't define pd so that's uh, something uh, wrong on my side okay let's try again okay as you can see that now the response is fine you have printed the data frame and it is shown here so this basically works lah. okay so moving on we will now try to create a cloud9 instance cloud9 ec2 instance so uh it just go into aws cloud9 this is uh the environments that i've created so you notice that actually i do always have one uh pre-prepped if i need to use it okay so today we'll be showing you how to create a new one so let's press create okay test uh cloud9 uh youtube so this is just to show that this is the environment that i'm using we just need to create a uh, ec2 instance direct access all these default functions is fine i personally prefer ubuntu so today i'll be sharing more on the ubuntu instance and you just need to press next step so there's nothing much that you need to configure just press create the environment wait for it to load the cloud9 instance uh, set, uh environment is pre-prepped so what you notice that i have actually tried to check what kind of uh, python version do we have right now currently the cloud9 is uh, by default is set up to python 2.7.17 so what i did is uh, okay we can actually follow this example to install python 3.9 on our ubuntu instance so let's just follow this step by step what we need to do is we need to update our current uh, cloud version uh, this uh, cloud9 so normally all this process would take some time so let's just follow step by step uh, with a uh, fresh installation just follow everything step by step i will also share this uh, link in uh, the video below okay so once all these uh, pre-prep settings has been done, now we can start installing our Python 3.9. Uh, so just uh, confirm that you wanted to proceed. So like I said, because this one is uh, installing a newer version of Python, so let's see what would happen. Okay, so now let's check whether do we have the python installed properly okay you notice that python 3.9.7 has been installed okay so this is an alternative uh, way of installing uh, uh, from source okay so let's install the virtual environment first as a library Okay, so what you can do now is you can select Python 3.9 now. Okay, so you notice that now uh, it's creating a virtual environment for us called myvnv. So if I were to check now, you notice that my my vnv is there so what we can do is we go and activate uh the this this virtual environment so let's uh change our directory to what we need okay so notice there's a few types of activate here so because this is uh, ubuntu if i'm not mistaken what we can do now is source activate so now you notice that there's a bracket in front to say that you are using this python 3.9 as a virtual environment and so any libraries that is installed in this environment will stay within this environment okay so what we can do now is we pip install pandas so what this thing is doing is basically installing the pandas library into the my virtual environment Alternatively, just to share a bit more is that uh, if you are familiar with how to create your own uh, requirements.txt, what I can suggest is you can follow this pip freeze 
uh, requirements txt so this code here is basically that if let's say you already have a virtual environment that has multiple dependencies that is within it you can just uh, pip freeze it and you'll create a requirements txt i can also show this how this thing works in our system right now so notice that it has been installed so uh similarly what we can do is what we have done here this pip freeze show you what can be done with our system also you just need to pip freeze the thing okay now let's check the file you notice that there is a requirements txt that did not appear there okay let's remove this file because actually it's not relevant to our project so let's check okay it has been taken off so let's uh, deactivate this library uh, the, uh, this environment and now what we can do is go back to the folder and now uh, make a directory called python or uh, just to make sure uh, yeah it's called python so now let's check okay so now your python has uh, you have a python directory inside your folder directory let's uh, shift ourselves into that directory okay so what we okay so you notice on my right hand side there's a code saying that uh, cp-r so this thing it's copying uh, relative to uh, the folder that what we are retrieving and put it inside this particular folder called python so let's just copy this okay bear in mind that because ours is 3.9 let's shift change this to 3.9 copy this line of code paste it here so what this thing is doing is that i'm currently in the python library i shift up one stage higher which is called folder go back into the virtual environment but this case ours is not v-emb ours is my vmb go into the library 64 folder which we can see uh, here then we can go into python 3.9 get all the site packages every single dependency that is there uh, put it into our current directory here called dots which is the python directory so let's say by the time i press enter it will start oh sorry um, I think I remembered wrongly. Let me uh, change my code a bit. So uh, let's go back and check again. What is the folder name? CD mine DNV. Okay, so we have a uh, lib CD Python LS. Okay, so our package is actually in lib, not lib64. Oh, sorry. Also, the issue is because this code here is actually not correct. Let me try again. So let's go back to the Python folder again. So this time, I think we should be correct. Let's press enter. So what this thing is basically copying all the files into this particular directory. So remember, this is a new directory that we have created. Currently, you notice that now there's a lot of files inside here. So let's exit this directory, going back into the folder. Okay, what we can do now is we need to zip this file together. So as you can see on the right hand side, what it's doing is to create a panda layer a zip file. That is, uh, and you need to zip this whole folder. So I'm basically zipping the thing right now into one particular folder. Okay, so uh, the zipping is done. You notice that now there will be a zip file that has appeared called panda layer. Okay, so what we need to do now is we just copy, I just copy the sentence of the code so it's easier to see. So what this thing is doing is that we are using the AWS CLI layer. Uh, the lambda function uh, the lambda function uh, the lambda service uh, the function inside the lambda we are using the publishing a uh, layer version uh, now we are specifying the uh, the layer name so in this case it's called panda tutorial pandas tutorial uh, what zip file are we going to refer to we are referring to the panda layer zip and what run times are we compatible with this time round is 3.9 so let's just press enter
oops sorry i think uh, we did something wrong i might have selected the wrong example okay let's try this one out So the installation's done. Let me try with this again. Okay, so uh, once you press enter, you notice that now the AWS layer has been created. Uh, the Lambda layer has been created. So this is basically a JSON of what has happened. Uh, you notice that the layer ARN they normally will provide a resource number with you for you and it's now called pandas tutorial What's the version It's the first version uh, You did it. We did not input any description this time around. It was created just a few seconds ago And this is the first version compatible runtimes is 3.9. So now what we can do is we can go back to our Lambda Let's go and check our function again one so lambda tutorial pandas this was the one that we were discussing just now okay what we can do now is we can add a layer select custom layers so you notice now that there are two instead of one select the pandas tutorial select the particular version add it to your system okay so now we have one layer here what we just need to do is press test so initially that we didn't manage to uh, read the bandas data frame this time around it works so as you can see um, the execution results now have the value being printed similarly to what we have done and this time around we are using the pandas layer that we have created so that's all for today uh, i hope you like this video and uh, if it uh, if there's any questions that you want to further ask uh, please drop me a message. I will add all those information in the links below. Thank you.